Hi there, welcome to Clearbox Let's Test and the very first video of TypeScript tutorial video series. So, what is TypeScript? TypeScript is an open source, strongly typed, object oriented, and compiled programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. In this definition, point one and point four are self explanatory, and we'll discover more on point number two and three in this whole video series. So, basically, TypeScript lets you write JavaScript the way you really want to. TypeScript can help programmers to write object-oriented programs and have them compiled to JavaScript both on server side and client side. Now programmers from object-oriented world will find it easy to use TypeScript. With the knowledge of TypeScript, they can build web applications much faster as TypeScript has good tuning support. So you can say TypeScript is JavaScript for application scale development. So why use TypeScript? As JavaScript code grows, it tends to get seriously complicated, making it difficult to maintain and reuse the code. Moreover, its failure to embrace the features of object orientation, strong type checking, and compile time error checks prevent JavaScript from succeeding at the enterprise level as a full fledged server side technology. JavaScript is a great language, but everything has got certain pros and cons. Okay, let's understand this diagram first. Okay, so we have ES5 JavaScript, right? Then we have this circle which represent ES6 JavaScript, right? And then you have got this TypeScript circle, right? So what do we have in ES6? We have certain features like you know destructuring, fat arrow, const, etc. And in here TypeScript we see like interfaces strongly typed. So interfaces, I mean, it's an object oriented programming concept, right? So you have this strongly typed, all right? So which means that compile time checking and all, right? Then we are saying that TypeScript compiles down to JavaScript only, right? Because the browsers can't run TypeScript, okay? Okay, so can we summarize it into four points majorly? Number one, superset of JavaScript. So TypeScript is a strict syntactical superset of JavaScript, as you could see in here, all right? Point number two, strong static typing. JavaScript is not strongly typed. We know that it uses dynamic typing, all right? So TypeScript adds optional static typing to the language. Point number three, object-oriented programming. So TypeScript supports object-oriented programming concepts like classes, interfaces, inheritance, etc. Point number four, latest JavaScript support. So, because of TypeScript, we can use latest and greatest JavaScript features like let, const, fat arrow, class, template strings, destructuring, etc. Not all browsers support these features. Which features? Latest ES6 features. But with the help of TypeScript compiler, we can transcompile this code to ES5 version if we have to. Alright? Yes, you can also use Babel, all right, to convert this ES6 code into ES5 code so that it can run on all the different browsers. Okay. Interestingly, we use Fortran's uh, TypeScript compiler and Babel in a project, all right, to do this compilation. All right. So now, all of those four points. You know, will save time catching errors and providing fixes before you run code. And with object oriented programming support, you can write reusable and maintainable code. That's the power of TypeScript, right? And we know that we can't run, right? We can't run TypeScript into the browser. So we need to compile the TypeScript code into plain JavaScript code that is understood by all browsers and browsers version example like i7, i8. You should also acknowledge the fact that probably not all of your end users have the latest version of any given browser. Okay. So we have to convert that into the ES5 version of JavaScript. All right. So what are the prerequisites to learn TypeScript? Just one, JavaScript. If you know JavaScript, you're good to follow the series. If not, then I already have created JavaScript video series on this channel. 
link for the same can be found below in the description so what are the core components of typescript number one is language it comprises of syntax keywords and other annotations the typescript compiler the typescript compiler which is tsc converts the instructions written in typescript to its javascript equivalent all right we're going to see that last one is the typescript language service the language service exposes an additional layer around the core compiler pipeline that are editor like applications the language service supports the common set of typical editor operations like statement completions signature help code formatting and outlining colorization etc okay so what do i require to learn typescript well you have to install node.js okay now we don't need to learn node.js but we require it to download typescript compiler so once we have node.js okay installed on your system we got to run this command npm install hyphen g typescript okay so this will install the typescript globally to your machine all right and then you have access to typescript compiler then we require a code editor and i recommend visual studio code because it has typescript language support out of the box okay then in the visual studio code we would also install an extension which is called as live server okay all right so let us look at the locations from where we can download all these so from the official website of node.js depending upon your operating system you could pick the latest stable version of node.js and install it onto your system same way from the official website of visual studio code you can download the application visual studio code depending upon your respective operating system we would also be posting all the code changes that you do in this video series over to github repository and this is that github repository i'll place the link of this github repository down below in the description of this video in here you see there are some files already so this is the final mini project that we are going to create and in the process we are going to exercise different typescript concepts so let us open this visual studio code and here is that set of files that i showed you on that github page all right now you need to download one extension which is live server all right so in here you just have to search for live server okay and install it so i have already done that okay now once that is done all right so i am on this index.html page okay which is under this public folder i do a right click and you see this option open with live server all right so you click on this and it is going to launch this mini project that i mentioned that we are going to create in this video series all right so let me quickly walk you through this so you have this drop down which contains these two different options now this is an input field all right which accepts string this accepts number this accepts boolean and this accepts the email all right you click on add and this new section is added all right when you click on clear that section is gone all right so we are going to build that all right so once you install node.js onto your machine try these commands node space hyphen v this shows you the version of node.js installed onto your machine if everything went well while installing node.js you would see this output when you run this command same way you would have to run this command npm hyphen v this will ensure that node package manager is also installed you don't need to install it separately it comes as part of node.js installation and then you have to run this command like i said npm install hyphen g typescript 
okay and you have to hit enter now once this is done try this command tsc which stands for typescript compiler all right and checking the version so if you see this right so typescript is also installed properly all right people we are now all set to begin learning typescript i'll see you in the next video thank you so much